I never would have thought I would have been called to a vocation to the priesthood. I firmly was, I'm gonna go to school, get my engineering degree, get a good job, nice house, wife and family. That was like my plan for life. My faith changed when I came to the Newman Center and started to get involved, purely because I was coming from a place of go to Mass on Sunday and then kind of get out of there and that's it. When I started forming these relationships with people, I saw that there were people my age who like actually were doing things like praying the rosary every day, uh, going to adoration, going to confession uh, on a regular basis. The Fall Newman Retreat was just really pivotal for me because at that point I'd had a year uh, where I was really actually into the faith and um, pursuing the relationship with Jesus. And then it was like the second or third day, I think it was the second day, I just was moving between sessions and something just hit me like in the back of my head. It was like, yeah, I could be a priest. Uh, it was the first time I was around a community of people that I think like really respected the idea of being called to religious life. People were like, dude, that's so cool that you're discerning. It helped too, because I was still in a bit of that mindset of like, oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Like I'm studying engineering, this wasn't supposed to happen. And so having just that community grounding too, of people who are like, whether they're uh, staff, uh, the priests there, or there's other students just like supporting me, was really powerful. If I didn't get involved with Newman, I definitely would not be pursuing the priesthood right now. My faith would have stayed at a place of just, this is a casual thing I do on Sundays, and that's it. It really was getting to know the people at Newman, getting to dive deeper in my faith with them, and then ultimately going on a retreat with the Newman Center. That was the driver for everything, for my discernment for the priesthood.